Hi, I'm Ali, and I'll be showing you how to get the most out of your Lumia 635, including how to set up and use live tiles, access your notifications, check your email, add your calendar, and use the camera. Hope you find this helpful. Your Lumia 630 uses Windows Phone and Live Tiles to keep you updated without having to open apps. Live Tiles give you a preview of what your app is trying to tell you without having to open it. They're constantly updating, giving you a constant stream of new information without ever having to open apps. Live Tiles can display information such as your calendar events, the number of notifications you have, or show you a preview of some pictures and other items. Live Tiles can also be customized to your heart's content. You can make them bigger, smaller, or remove them completely. To customize a live tile, simply long press on it and use the arrow button to change its size and drag it from place to place to change its location. If you want to completely remove a live tile from your home screen, long press on it and press the remove tile button. The amount of information a live tile shows you varies depending on the size of the tile. For example, the calendar tile can change from showing you only the date to showing you complete details of your next appointment as well as location, or simply showing you a brief overview of the time and name of the event. The messaging live tile also responds the same way, going from showing you only the number of notifications to showing you a full preview of the message. Experiment with different live tiles to find different results depending on the app and what it does. To add a specific app to the start screen, simply swipe to the right, find the app you want, and long click on it. After that, you have the option to pin to start, where the app will automatically be added to your start screen. You can customize it by once again changing the size and location. Notification Center in Windows Phone 8.1 can also be used to help you get more detailed information about your notifications. To access the Notification Center, simply swipe down from the top of your screen. Once inside the Notification Center, you'll see a quick preview of what each app is notifying you about, and you have the option to instantly open the notification by clicking on it, which will take you to the app itself, or by swiping the notification away, dismissing it. The Notification Center also has a number of useful toggles called the Action Center, which can help you quickly toggle through commonly used settings, such as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, screen brightness, and more. To change which setting toggles appear in the Action Center, simply click on All Settings, head to Notifications plus Action, and customize the toggles to your own content. Click on an image to replace it with another, such as Quiet Hours, and head back to the start screen. Adding an email account or social networking account to Windows Phone is really simple. Simply head to the settings menu, choose emails plus accounts, and hit add an account. Here you'll be given a list of possible services and email accounts that you can sync, ranging from Facebook and Twitter to multiple email providers. To add your account, simply select your email provider. Let's try adding an Outlook account. Once you've selected your email provider, you'll be asked to sign in with your email account and password to synchronize your account. Once you do this, you'll be able to synchronize your contacts and calendar from your email account onto your Windows Phone. So let's go ahead and sign in. Once you've added a new account to your phone, you can customize its settings from under Emails and Accounts in the Settings menu. To change an account setting, simply tap on the account. From here, you can rename the account, change how often it syncs depending on your preference, ranging from as items arrive to every 30 minutes, hourly, or manual sync. You can also choose what type of information you want to sync with your email account. The default setting is to sync all information from your email account, including emails, contacts, calendars, and tasks. Once you've added your email account to your Windows Phone, a live tile will automatically appear on the start screen. From here, you can quickly access the email account and read your emails and send new emails. The calendar app on Windows Phone can be accessed from its live tile or from the app menu. Simply head to Calendar and select it. From here, you'll be set into the default calendar view. Calendar on Windows Phone displays calendar events from multiple email and social accounts. To change which accounts appear on your calendar view, simply hit the three dots, head to Settings, where you'll be given a list of the synced accounts. To remove an account from the calendar display, simply hit the check mark next to it and head back into the calendar. The calendar view can be toggled depending on your preference. You can switch between day, week, month, and yearly view. Depending on the view you choose, you can click on a specific day to expand and view the complete details of each day. You can add an event to your calendar by hitting the plus at the bottom of the screen, entering a subject location, and even choose which calendar to sync it to by hitting more and then selecting a calendar. You can access the camera on your Lumia 635 in a number of ways. You can either add the camera shortcut to the action center, pin a live tile onto the screen, or access it from the app menu. Once you're in the camera app, you can switch between video and images by simply toggling between the two buttons. You can also view images and videos you've already taken by hitting the button in the upper left corner of the screen. 
which will take you to your gallery. When capturing a video or taking a picture, you can tap on the screen to help focus, then hit the capture button to either take the picture or start recording. When recording a video, hit the capture button again to stop recording.